This is vintage Coca-Cola, but how ancient is it and what does it taste like? I went on a little adventure and found the antique store with the biggest choice of Coca-Cola and Pepsi collectibles. There are refrigerators, rare memorabilia, souvenirs and the wide choice of soft drinks from different generations. It's like a museum, but you can buy anything you see. Bottles looked so old, they had more dust than prime products on Walmart shelves. Coke is not the healthiest drink, but what's in these vintage bottles is unpredictable. I didn't want this to be my last episode, so I researched different Coca-Cola sources. And guess what? I hit the jackpot, my friends. Well, uh, let me explain. Until 1915, Coca-Cola was sold in the Hutchinson bottle, but this simple design was easily copied. So, in 1915, the brilliant minds at the Root Glass Company designed this iconic curvy Hubble Squirt design inspired by a coca pod. So, you can even recognize it by just touching this bottle. The first batch of these bottles hit the shelves in 1916, proudly displaying the inscription November 16, 1915. And after eight years after the original patent date, there was a second version of the bottle, aka Christmas Coke. And at this moment, my mind was blown. If we take a closer look at this bottle, we can see the date December 25, 1923, exactly a century ago. I was like, wow, so the first Jack and Coke could be made from the same cola bottle. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was so excited and wanted to make this historical moment special, so I even brought an opener from the same era. The cap didn't pop like from the modern day Coke, it felt like it was glued to a bottle. There were no signs of cloudiness or visible mold and soda is not perishable. I needed to taste it, so you guys don't have to. The drink was darker than usual and had no carbonation. There is some distinct aroma that Coca-Cola is known for, but it's just not enjoyable and smells like a musty old abandoned house. It tastes something like Diet Starlight, but if everything was evaporated and only syrup was left. It's a solid 1 out of 10, but I thought something didn't add up. How could this almost 100 years old coke be in such a good shape? I started digging and found that even empty bottles from around that time could cost hundreds or thousands of dollars. And it looks like death in a bottle. But the biggest red flag appeared after I cleaned the cap. The tiny sign said that it contained high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Wait, what? Coca-Cola started using it only in the 80s. Yeah. It turns out that Coca-Cola reproduced the same original bottle. Thanks to Coca-Cola bottle experts, yeah, it's actually a thing, they pointed out that there are only two significant differences. First, reproduced as a small sign on the bottom, and the most obvious is a few tiny numbers, which means the year it was reproduced. So the bottle I got my hands on was from 1983. I know, it's not that old, <laughs> but actually people were drinking from these bottles and watched the premiere of Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Still a piece of history, <laughs> so enjoy.